What's up, scholars? How are we doing today? Yes, we are back for more amazing science. And yes, today, as always, it is going down. What is going down today? Well, what's going down are our agents of erosion. Get excited. Yeah, the earth is telling a story. Yes, a story about how it was formed, about how things were created, about how things and why things look the way that they do. Like, it's so cool to think about when I go out and I see a river flowing through or I see a pond or I think about the shape of a state like Florida as a peninsula or when I go to a beach, that all of these things have a story. When we visit the Grand Canyon, it has a story and the earth is trying to teach that to us. Yes, you and me, yes. Now, remember, we've already talked about a couple of things. We have talked about weathering, and remembering weathering is the breaking down of rock, right? The rock breaks down into smaller little sediments. These sediments eventually become soil. These sediments also are moved by our three agents of erosion. So remember, weathering is the breaking them, but then once they're broken, then they start to move or transport, and this process is called erosion. Erosion is the taking them. It's when they are transported from one place to another place, right? And when they get there, they begin to deposit. They begin to drop off and they're dropping into these layers and these layers stack on top of each other. So when we go by and we're looking at the sides of these a landforms and we're looking at this river and I look to the right and I see that the soils are all kinds of different colors. That's because of this process called deposition that occurred right where you are watching. But it doesn't stop there. It doesn't, family, I'm telling you. There is so much more. Yes, and today we're going to look at another landform. We looked at wind erosion. Remember, we were doing the sand dunes and we showed how wind picks up these sand sediments and then it drops them off and they deposit and they form these gigantic mounds of sand, these gigantic hills that we call sand dunes, but there's more landforms. Yes, there are so many more landforms that are made. We are going to look at another wonderful landform today. So what landform are we going to look at? I know you want to know. I know you want to know. We are going to look at a landform that is created by ice oh yes so up on the tops of mountains you ever seen like snow-capped mountains have you ever noticed that at the tops of them it seems like they're white sometimes well the higher that you get in the earth's atmosphere the cooler the temperature gets and often the ice will begin to slide down off the sides of these mountains and when they're sliding they're grabbing and they're pulling and they're grabbing and they're pulling and they're grabbing and they're pulling so what happens is we're going to simulate that here today. All right, I'm going to get that right off in the middle. So you have gravity is pulling on this ice. Gravity is pulling on this ice. But this ice is very massive. It's very heavy. It's got a lot of mass. So when it's coming down, it's driving and it's carrying the sediments with it. If you watch what's happening, the soil is carrying with it and it's carving out and you're going to start to notice behind you're starting to see that it's carving out space carving out space and this sediments just continue to move and move and move and what happens is it creates a valley called a u-shaped valley you see how that's in a u-shape right there well that u-shape is formed because this ice slowly moves the sediments off to the sides. It's not a fast process. It's a very, very slow process. In fact, it takes a very long time because this ice just creeps and moves and creeps and moves. And it is so, so powerful. It can carry big boulders and move them. It can carry gigantic amounts of, of different substances and move them because like you'll see, you see how it kind of sticks to it? It grabs it. It pulls it. It's like a train, a locomotive, and everything that gets off in its way, it's just dragging it and pulling it and moving it, and it creates a landform that is called a U-shaped valley. And that's not the only type of valley because there's other types of valleys, so you specifically have to understand that ice, normally in the form of a glacier, creates a U-shaped valley. So we know now that wind erosion creates a 
sand dunes, right? It picks up the sediments and it drops them into giant hills that we call sand dunes. We know that water erosion creates certain types of landforms. We're actually going to model what water erosion creates. And now we know that ice erosion creates a special kind of landform, a special kind of valley called a U-shaped valley. And it's specific to the ice because the ice slowly moves those sediments, making it more of a, a U-shaped instead of that sharp point that you get with a V-shaped valley. Now remember, our agents of erosions, we have three agents of erosions that we primarily work with. Our three agents of erosion are, yes, there was one, wind. Then we also have our water and now we have our ice and each agent of erosion is instrumental in telling the story of how different landforms were made and we have looked at a couple of stories of a couple of different landforms we looked at hoodoos yes we looked at our hoodoos and we said that hoodoos were formed by wind and wind weathering and erosion we might have looked at a desert arc, another landform that is formed by wind, weathering, and erosion. We looked at sand dunes, sand dunes, a landform that is formed by wind moving, eroding, and depositing sediments. So all of these landforms have a story, every single one of them. You should be able to write a story for each landform about how the landform was made. Easy breezy, no problem. You got this. And today we learned that Ice erosion can create a landform called a U-shaped valley. The reason that it's carved into a U is the ice slowly moves and slides the sediment, making it look more like a U-shape because a valley that's formed with water has this very sharp V shape. Just like if I take a water hose and I stick my thumb off in it and the water hits the soil really, really hard, it pounds it out of the way and it's gonna make more of a sharp point, but ice makes more of a curvature and so we call that a U-shaped valley. Family, the earth is telling you a story, but you have got to be able to not only read the story, but you have to be able to understand it at such a level that you're able to communicate that to other scholars all over the place because that is your job as scientists. You have to tell the story of how the world came to be. Have an absolutely wonderful rest of your day. We will be back on soon with more amazing science.